G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw With Use your energy, be authentic, let's do that again. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw With Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be drawing some fan art, but I'm not entirely sure what I'll be drawing. I've taken suggestions from the Twitch chat, which you can see on the screen, and the Twitch chat has voted and I will be drawing Doctor Strange. Very cool, let's get started. To begin with, I experimented with a few different pose ideas, just with some thumbnail sketches, some really basic blocky proportions of Doctor Strange's potential poses, one being standing, another being flying, and then another more extreme foreshortened one sort of lunging forwards. In the end, I favoured the flying standing one, which had a, an air of nobility and power about it. So then I moved on to a piece of blending card and started to work with a more refined character pose sketch. I start off with some really basic blocking in of the limb and proportions slowly alluding to some of the anatomy even though it's mostly going to be covered and then from there building up the clothing and outfit on top. Since Doctor Strange has some quite heavy robes, cloaks and belts his anatomy isn't going to be very visible but we do need to allude to and support the overall silhouette and the foreshortening we've already established becomes a process of slowly building up the details and carefully crafting the more important aspects of the character such as the gem in the cloak, the facial hair, the belt and the hand and spell itself. Once I'm happy with my refined sketch I move on to line work working with a 0.1 fine liner throughout the piece using a simple uni pin fine liner which doesn't bleed when I get to Copic markers later on. The line work is a pretty simple process as I've really laid down the uh, basics of what needs to go down. The spell I actually drew in a 0.03 Copic multi liner in a really light barely touching the paper sort of way to show me clearly where the spell was going to be but also make sure that there's a very clear and distinct difference between the line weight of the character and then the lines around the spell. Once I'm happy with the line work and I've erased my construction lines I play with an array of colors on some blending card and find my color schemes. Moving on to apply it to the character I keep the left side of the character fairly light and untouched with color so I can come back and add some light reflection from the spell towards the end of my coloring process. Meanwhile, I add some more heavy shadows on the right side of the character to help add some interest and contrast overall. Doctor Strange has some pretty strong colours in his colour schemes from the red cloak to the blue clothing. So I tried to strike a balance between having these strong saturated colours, but also not having them too garish or overwhelming. Because if they look like really saturated bright primary colours, I feel like the effect would end up making the piece look a little bit childish rather than epic and like a really cool comic book piece. Again, keeping to the themes of really contrasting light by having quite strong shadows on the right side of the character while leaving some areas of blank or less saturated space on the left side of the character to come back again later which you'll see me add a little bit of yellow to again to emphasize the light coming off of the spell. For the spell itself I start off by saturating the area with a colorless blender so that the page is slightly wet by the time I apply my light yellows and it sort of soaks in and spreads out a little bit and then slowly but surely tone by tone I add uh, slightly darker and stronger tones of the yellow and then an orange and then a really really thin uh, bright orange around the edges and this makes for a really cool glowing effect for the spell that Doctor Strange is casting. Finally add a little bit of yellow for the reflection on the character itself just to really make the lighting look dynamic and then I'll go around the edges of the piece with a 0.2 fine liner to accentuate the silhouette. And there you go, that is the result of my Doctor Strange Let's Draw. I really enjoyed doing this one, especially the colour effects and the magic. Now I should probably disclaim that I'm not familiar with the lore of Doctor Strange uh, in the comic books and I haven't seen the movie yet, so... <laughs> Ugh, awkward. But this piece was voted on by the Twitch community and it was suggested by Marcus Anderson. So I'm going to dedicate this to Marcus Anderson. To Marcus Anderson. Sign and we're done. There you go. So that is my Doctor Strange piece. And once again, my apologies if I got anything wrong. Halfway through drawing the hands, people informed me that he does that when he does magic or something. I don't know. I fully expect a barrage of comments informing me as to the lack of integrity with the law. Uh, of my piece. <laughs> but that being said, it was fun to make and I really hope you enjoyed watching it be made. Make sure to join future streams by clicking the link on the screen and in the description. Like and subscribe if you haven't and you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. 
Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe. Join the creative cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.